Hey everyone and welcome to The Deployment Guy. This is a place where we make Microsoft Intune a little less confusing and a lot more manageable. Okay, update rings. So, what is an update ring? Well, imagine you're at a theme park, there's a brand new super exciting roller coaster. You wouldn't just throw everyone on at once. Nope, first the engineers test it, then the VIP's gotta go, and eventually the public. That's basically what update rings do, but for Windows updates. They let you control who gets updates and when, so you can roll them out in stages instead of all at once, hoping nobody gets injured in the process. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Microsoft Edge, and we'll go to the Intune portal. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is create some groups for your update rings. So if I select groups, and all groups, and then in the search bar, I'm just going to type in update. Now you can see I've already created three groups here. We've got update ring one, which is our pilot, de pilot devices, update ring two, which is early adopters, and update ring three, which is basically everybody else. Um, for the pilot ring, you may be tempted to stick all your IT devices in there, uh, for your IT support devices. Um, I'd probably advise against this, maybe put a handful in and put a, a mix of devices in there from, from other people. The reason being is your IT guys may have all the same same hardware, same software. So deploying updates out just to this, it's not really a good test. The next ring up from the pilot ring is the early adopters ring. Uh, this should include more devices. Um, it is still best practice to have a mix of different hardware and software configurations just so you get a better test sample. You'll also want to prioritize tech savvy users, people who can handle the occasional hiccup. Essentially, you want those who can provide useful feedback rather than just panicking if something doesn't work quite right. Right, so let's go through now and actually create the update rings. So, in Intune, if we select devices, and then we'll select Windows, and Windows updates. Now you can see here we've got four tabs. We've got update rings, feature updates, quality updates, driver updates. Oh, sorry, then we have a fifth, which is monitor. Uh, the one we're interested in here is update rings. So we'll create a profile. We'll give this a name, so we'll call it Windows uh, Update Ring 1. And this is for our pilot devices. Then we'll select Next. Microsoft Product Update, Allow Block. Uh, Shouldn't really be an option here, to be honest. Um, if you block it, updates just won't work. Obviously, Leave is allowed. Windows Drivers, entirely up to you. Um, Allow block, I think we'll leave it as allowed. Quality update deferral period and feature update deferral periods. Uh, because it's going to our, our, our pilot group, I tend to leave this as zero. So basically, as soon as we deploy these out, these, these, these devices will get that immediately. Upgrade Windows 10 devices to Windows 11 release. Um, can be good in, in some scenarios, in others, can cause lots of chaos. So, entirely up to you. Uh, set feature update uninstall period. Uh, this is basically where the, the end user has the option of uh, uninstalling the feature update within so many days. Default's 10. I think we'll give them a week and set it to 7. Okay, enable pre-release builds. Um, if you are going to do this, I probably suggest you creating um, a, a, smaller, a smaller ring uh, with just your senior IT guys in. Uh, from there, you can deploy the Windows Insider, beta channel, and dev, dev channel builds. Uh, but in this instance, we're going to turn it off. Okay, under user experience settings, we've got the automatic update behavior. Um, this is basically, this is your work hour. So at the moment, it, by default, it's set to 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Um, basically, what will happen here is if we set it to auto install at maintenance time, your updates are going to install basically outside, outside of that window. Uh, so we have the option of install and restart at schedule time. So we could do it technically on second week of every month. And we'll pick Tuesday, and we'll just set this to 7 p.m. Which obviously, this is patch Tuesday. Okay, option to pause Windows updates. Absolutely not. Option to check for Windows updates. Uh, entirely up to you. I tend to disable this just because I like to, to have that control over when updates are installed and the reboots happen. Change notification update level. Uh, Tend to leave this as a default, uh, simply because you want your end users to 
be notified when when, when restarts going to happen. So we'll leave this as the default. Okay, deadline settings. We'll turn these on. Uh, deadline settings for feature updates and deadline for quality updates. Uh, this is our pilot ring, so we'll just select zero for both of these. It basically means that this is the number of days before the update automatically gets installed. Grace period. Um, this is the number of days that a device will automatically reboot after the uh, the above deadlines. So for this, uh, so our pilot ring, we'll just we'll just put one. Okay, auto reboot before deadline. Entirely up to you, but we'll select no. We'll press next, and next we're going to deploy this to our our first pilot group. So I'll select add groups. Um, and if we scroll down, we've got uh, Windows update, update ring one, pilot, we'll select this. Select, and then we'll press next. And then create. Okay, so if, if during testing things aren't, aren't going quite right, you've got the option of pausing uh, both the quality and feature updates just while you're, while you're investigating. So we'll just, we'll pause the feature updates on this. And then obviously once you've investigated and you're happy and you've, you find out what's going on, you can uh, you can then resume the feature updates. So the other rings tend to be a very similar setup to the pilot ring which created, with the obvious difference being the deferral periods when updates are released to your devices. You can have as many rings as you want, but the idea is the broader the ring gets, the higher the number of days the deferral period should be, which provides us with a nice staged rollout. So in my second ring, I've changed the quality update deferral period from zero to seven days, but I have still left the feature update at zero days. I'll explain why in the next video. If you plan on always having the latest feature updates, you would more than likely just match this up with the same amount of days as your quality updates. So in this instance, we, we just set it at seven days. So again, if we check the third ring, you can see the deferral has now gone from seven days up to 14 days. And again, feature updates are still zero. Obviously, once you have all your update rings created, you would then deploy them out to the respective groups that were previously created. Now, this video was supposed to be a singular video that covered update rings, feature, quality, and driver updates, but I have discovered in my E5 developer lab that Microsoft don't trust me with quality and driver updates. And as you can see, everything is grayed out. So, cheers Microsoft. So I'm about to come up with a plan B and step forward Microsoft MVP, Andrew Taylor, who has kindly given me access to his lab. Now, if you're just starting out with Microsoft Intune and don't know who Andrew Taylor is, I literally cannot speak highly enough of him. He's an absolute fountain of knowledge when it comes to Microsoft Intune. He's the author of the Microsoft Intune cookbook, which is one of two books every person interested in Microsoft Intune should own. And he also publishes an amazing newsletter that you can access via his website. I will post a link to both of these in the description below. So that's it for update rings. Don't forget to watch out for the next video being released, where in Andrew's lab I'll go through feature, quality and driver updates. This has been the Deployment Guy. As always, please hit that like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.